So let's work together. Let's stop with the campaign smears and tactics to get people to turn against us, even having my favorite president call us and tell us we need to knock this off. I think it actually needs to be reversed. The president needs to tell Kevin McCarthy that, sir, you do not have the votes and it's time to withdraw. And with that, I yield. Thank you. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and Lauren Boebert, the Colorado Banshee and one of the biggest fans of Donald Trump, was booed on the House floor when she called out the former president about his support of Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy, who has been a huge supporter of the far right since Trump got elected, and especially after January the 6th, has been locked in limbo on his quest for the Speaker's gavel. Now, Congressman, let me, let me you tweet, uh, Town Hall quoted you today saying, the president, you, you said complimentary things about President Trump, needs to tell Kevin McCarthy that, sir, you do not have the votes. It's time to withdraw. Let me turn the tables, Congresswoman. Kevin McCarthy has 202, three votes. Your side has 20. So if I'm going to use your words and your methodology and your math, uh, isn't it time for you to pack it in and your side to pack it in, considering he has over 200 and you have 20? Sean, I understand the frustration, I promise you, but I'm not um, frustrated. he does you didn't not answer have the my votes. Question. As Boebert gave a rehearsed, scripted version of her I Hate Kevin McCarthy speech, a moaning of boos could be heard bellowing out of the back of the room. House GOP members sounded like a chorus of swollen bullfrogs, their belches and groans echoing through the House chamber as they booed, hissed, and even laughed. Trump had endorsed McCarthy for House Speaker, no surprise there, and he had called on Republicans Republicans to give McCarthy the Speaker's position, but Dingbat Boebert was not in agreement with that. Bobo had cast her vote for Jim Jordan yesterday and for Byron Donalds today. Boebert is not interested in getting to work for the American people. She's playing a role, a role in the Kamikaze Freedom Caucus that wants to burn everything to the ground, including their own leadership. We I'm are not, hearing I'm from many frustrated. people who are still voting with Kevin McCarthy who You're are not very answering supportive my of what we're doing and they're cheering us on. So there are more for us than are against us and they are waiting for Kevin to cave. Okay. Um, you know, the American people are certainly frustrated by... I'm frustrated by you not answering a direct question. Boebert, a high school dropout and former Shooter's Grill hostess, addressed the House of Representatives circus on Wednesday with the skill of a clown in a house of mirrors. Nobody knew where she was even coming from. She talked about her favorite ex-president. What a hoot. It's very apparent that she didn't pass American history in high school. Otherwise, she would probably know the names of a few past presidents that she could choose from. She's part of a group with Matt Gates that is holding their own party hostage, and these voting sessions are the definition of insanity. It's the same repeating cycle over and over, and McCarthy's supporters in the House chamber are like hamsters on a spinning wheel of karma. The Republican Party has become the laughing stock of the world and is doing nothing but wasting the country's time and money. It's been 100 years since a speaker hasn't been elected on the first vote. In 1923, it took nine times to elect a speaker. We're going on six now, and there will probably be more. McCarthy and the Republicans are making history, but in a bad way. The fault lies directly with Kevin McCarthy and the Republican Party. McCarthy supported Trump and his failed presidency, and it's all coming back to bite him in the ass when it matters. Stay tuned, folks. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.